Hello there guys and in this tutorial we are going to discuss how can we make permanent changes to our environment okay and to do these permanent changes we are going to have to modify a certain file okay so which file should you modify well you know if you want to modify your environment you should only modify in almost all cases the dot bash rc file and if i actually type in lsa you will see that uh, i apologize you will see here that i actually have my dot bash rc file okay so this is the file you should modify at virtually every time you want to add something new to our environment okay and the reason why is that as we talked in the last tutorial there are some files that login shells execute only once and there are and by executing a file i mean reading through the file and executing the commands within them and um, basically uh, those files are the files which uh, only login shells read and non-login shells don't read those files and so uh, anyway, long story short, uh, if you uh, want to modify something, you should put it in the bash rc file, okay? Because there are also some other files which shells read, but if you kind of boil it down, it all boils down to this file, okay? So any permanent changes to your environment should go in this file. Now, how can you edit your file? Where you can actually use nano, which is a text editor, so you can type in nano.bash rc press enter and here you can see the contents of my bash rc file here down below you can see some uh, some uh, in instructions on how to navigate myself around nano well i can actually just use the arrow keys to go you know down a couple of lines etc and if i want to exit i would press Control x so this thing right here stands for control okay so let's look at some of the changes which I have personally found. So, which I have not found, but which I have personally written in my bash, bash RC file. So let me just get to them very quickly here. Okay, so I added this for Python. So basically what I did is I expanded my command path. Okay, so I basically said export, which adds something to my environment. And then I said path, equals the previous value of the path okay so path equals everything that has been uh, in the path so far uh, with an additional directory which is python 374 bin then i also did the same thing so this is actually saying okay path is now equal to everything path has been before because this dollar sign expands the uh the variable path and then i added this entire thing there okay and I also think I added some other things. I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, here I added something for Java. So here I just added normal normal variables. I I just basically said, you know, okay, J2 SDK dir is equal to this. J2 read dir is equal to this. And I also, because, you know, the instructions for the installation told me to do uh, such a thing, and then I also added this for Conda, okay? So basically, uh, every change you want, place place it in this uh, in this file. As you uh, have noted, probably these things are called comments, okay? And if you use comments, you will actually have much easier time navigating through our files. So my recommendation is if you are intending to add something, pre prefix it with a comment and write a short message why are you adding certain things okay so for example if you are adding this for conda then just write add it for conda and then write the actual command uh, which is used for that okay that's going to ease your uh, reading in the future okay so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you learned something useful and i will see you very soon peace